Greetings, I am Herbert Erbaderp, and this is Herbert Erbaderp's Quick Tips. In this video I'm going to show you how I mix colours. As a mixing container I like to use cheap plastic shot glasses. These usually come in packages of 100, like so. They're great for mixing paint in, or other small quantities of whatever things you want to mix, like glue, mixes of grit, casting resin and lots of other things too. I like to use them at an angle like so. This way the paint collects in a smaller area rather than the entire bottom of the shot glass. To facilitate this I made a shot glass holder from air drying clay. This was pretty easy. It is a bit ugly and it's gotten pretty painty over the years but it works as intended. So I'm pretty sure most of you know how to mix colours, but this might still be helpful to some people. We all know that paint comes in a wide variety of colours, but you don't need to buy a different bottle for every single shade you want to use. If you want to use a lot of colours that are only very slightly different it could get expensive very quickly. So it makes more sense to mix colours so they're closer to what you want. I know some people are a little bit intimidated by that, but there is no need to be. This is how I do it. In this example I'm going to make a mix of two parts Russian green to one part buff. I usually use buff or another creamy colour for lightening other colours, because I think it looks nicer and more natural than adding white. If you want to try darkening things, try adding a dark grey or brown instead of black. This is easy, that's two drops of Russian green and one drop of buff. Try not to catch your mixing cup on your paint bottle, spillages could occur. Next, mix the two colours together, this is probably pretty obvious. For mixing I like to use the end of a brush that has lost all of its bristles, or you could use the end of a brush you don't really care about anymore. I add some thinner at this point. See my previous Herbert Erpaderp's quick tips if you want to hear my opinions on thinning paint. You can click the video on screen here or click the link in the description if you want to go and check it out. I'm using a ratio of 50-50 thinner and paint here, so 3 drops of paint to 3 drops of thinner. This of course will need more mixing. The shade I got looks exactly how I would expect it, but what say we wanted it a little bit lighter? Simply add more buff. That's pretty simple. The trick I've found when lightening or darkening paint is to go slowly and add the lightening colour one drop at a time. That way you can gradually come to the colour you want. This is really good if you're not exactly sure what colour you want. It's a good way to go if you've never mixed that colour before, or if you're just guessing and hoping you will come across a colour that you like. What if you think adding a whole drop from the dropper bottle would be too much? What I do is use the tip of the dropper bottle and wipe a small amount onto the mixing implement. This is helpful if you want to fine tune your colour to something really specific. Of course deciding exactly what that specific colour is, is up to you. Another way to do this would be to mix paint on a palette or other surface. I've seen a lot of people do it this way, just put two drops, or however much you want, of the two colours you want to mix near each other and use your brush to blend them together until you're satisfied. This is a good way to work if you're going to be making small but frequent changes to the colour you're using or if you want to get really fine control over the mix. It also works best if you use a wet palette, especially if you don't want your colours to dry out quickly. Of course I'm only mixing a small amount of paint here, I don't want to be wasteful. These are model air colours so they are already quite thin, but of course add thinner here as you feel a need for it. If I want to make bigger batches of colour I use the same principles, just with more paint. One part could be anything. It could be an entire bottle of paint. As long as your measurement for what one part is is consistent you shouldn't have a problem. Using my first example, if I wanted to use 10 drops as one part, I would have added 10 drops of buff to 20 drops of Russian green. In my mind this makes more sense than using percentages, which is why I will rarely say I've used a mix of 25% colour A and 75% colour B for example. Using drops from a dropper bottle is a fairly consistent measure. For paints that come in pots like those from Games Workshop you just have to eyeball it. It's a little bit more effort but the basic ideas are still the same. Of course a drop from a dropper bottle isn't exactly a super precise measurement either, and it can be challenging to repeat your paint mixes, but if you use consistent measures the first time and make notes you'll have a better start for the next time you want to make that colour. I guess this is pretty basic stuff, but hey that's what this series is for. I hope it has been helpful at least to somebody. I'm totally not an expert on anything and my ways of doing things aren't the only way. I'm always interested in hearing about more effective or efficient methods of doing things, so let me know if you've got any ideas in that regard. 
If you have any other techniques, tools or products you would like me to demonstrate on Herbert Erpaderp's quick tips, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. If you like this video, indicate so by clicking the thumbs up button. If you thought it was worse than stepping in dog shit, thumbs down. If you know anyone that might find this useful, feel free to share the video with them. If you've not done so already, go ahead and subscribe to be notified of future videos. If you really like the videos I make, and you want to see them a little earlier than everyone else, please consider helping to support the channel via Patreon at patreon.com slash herbertherbaderp. Click the Patreon logo on screen now or the link in the description. I'll be back again soon, so until then, happy modelling and thanks for watching. Farewell.